Gareth, a return to action this weekend, then you must be delighted to be back after a spell on the sidelines. Yeah, it's really looking forward to getting out there. It's been uh, it's been a tough couple of months for me. Uh, disappointed not to be uh, taking part in the opening uh, section of the games in the league, but uh, I can't wait to, to return to action uh, this weekend. Just talk us through your injury. It was a hip injury and you took the decision to have surgery now over the summer as opposed to later on in the season yeah it was it was something that was sort of plaguing me a little bit last year but it's it's very difficult to to nail down exactly what the problem was uh unfortunately after returning from a, a break in uh, in the pre-season things hadn't got better and uh, we made the decision to uh to, to to seek further medical advice from that and uh, unfortunately the the diagnosis was that surgical procedure would be uh, best for me in the long term and also to get get me back to uh, full fitness uh, sooner rather than later so that's where we went from there the bni cup now a chance for you to stake a claim for some league action but there's five or six boys who will be fighting for the same places yeah it's uh, the competition I always state is uh, you know I play my best rugby and I think everyone else is, would agree when you have competition and uh, we've is no, you know this is the same last year there's no there's no getting from the fact that we've got some uh, we've got a great squad throughout throughout the positions and certainly in mine is uh, some very good players uh, vying for that spot and I think me coming back would hopefully uh, add to that pressure from the guys that's already got the shirt you know, and and then you know uh, it's up to me then to try and stake my claim to the coaches uh, for that shirt as well. So uh, any competition I think will drive the squad forward, which is which is good for everyone. What's the move been like in the camp this week? Has it just been a case of drawing a line under what happened last weekend? Yeah, to a certain ex- extent it has. Uh, I think we had to address some clear issues that uh, were, were clearly on uh, you know on our standards unacceptable. And uh, fair play to uh, Doncaster, they came with a, a certain game plan and identified some sort of things that we, they saw us as a weakness and executed those and probably sh- uh, showed us in areas in which we do need to improve. And uh, the first thing we did Monday was get out on that training paddock and do just that. So uh, it's been a good mood. Uh, there's a fresh crop of guys coming in, obviously, for the new competition. And we, you know, we're not going to look back. We just need to look forward and uh, make sure that doesn't happen again.